Welcome. Today we're gonna be working with Bry Ross today. We'll put up the paints and materials we use on screen now so you can follow along. For starters, let's go right over here. This is a beautiful green texture made of dirt, and we're gonna use this today. Let's grab a paintbrush here real fast. <laughs> I always do that. Sometimes I lost a paintbrush and it flew off, and then you really find out who your friends are when you do that. Sometimes those brushes get away and they go soon, clean the other side of the room. That's when you find out who your friends are. So we're gonna go ahead and mix our together a nice green here. Let's add some water here. Let's add some more water. Just don't be afraid. Leave the leave the texture in there. Beautiful, beautiful texture there, nice and, and wet, which is important. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little little chunk of that there, just like that. Oh, let's grab a, let's grab a little more. Let's be brave today. So we're coming along here. Let's do this. Let's get brave today. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the wall that is, of course, unfinished. So we're gonna go ahead and set that there. That's all kind of ready for rock. Now we gotta pick our perfect rock. So let's come over here. So we we'll kind of look at our wall. We want to be kind of fun, you know, this is our world, so we get to design it the way we want to. So we come over here, we get to slap this rock kind of right in there. What do you say, huh? I like it, beautiful, beautiful rock. Whoops. Uh, of course, it's our world, let's just make it part of it. There we go. You know what? Instead of mixing small amounts, let's be really brave and mix the whole thing. Here we go, ready? So we just turn it on just like this. <laughs> The My Little Homestead family decided to create their own world by placing these buildings across the homestead. It includes a studio, bedrooms, an outdoor shower, and now one of their biggest canvas yet, they've decided to plop in a beautiful, large shop. It's so snowy out here. I wish it would ball up. See on my jacket? See it? So in the fact we're out working in it, no one can say we're not dedicated to the job. Yeah, Bry Ross is more than gone from this environment right now. It's way too wet for him. <laughs> His hair would get all messed up. It would be a mess. How you doing, Ma? Okay. Everything's so wet. Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful for the rest of the day. Yeah. And we're gonna be like, uh-uh. I can see my breath, it's so cold. Oh, Bullet, are you ready? <laughs> Should we go in? Oh my gosh, <laughs> you are so wet. He's determined He's so though. wet. Even Bob Ross has to handle his own tires. Sometimes. So instead of a happy little tree, is it a happy little leak? We had to buy a new one of these, brand new brush here, just fresh out of the package. It goes on there just like that. And we just fill the tire up. Just like that. Whoa! It's also a nice little tire gauge. Of course we have to clean the brush there and then Okay, we're at, we're at the color of, of 29, so it needs to be a little airy. This picture is lacking texture. I'm gonna tilt this whole roof up in the air so that we can get a, roll, a couple rows of blocks on top of that. Super cool. Ah. Hey, Jared Ross, how you doing? Just doing a little mixing, doing a little mixing. Gotta get that mortar up top. Putting that nice solid connection, you know? Big, big knife you got there. It's out of trial. Just gotta, yeah, clear it off. Gotta there. clear it off, you know? Perfect. <laughs> So what we're doing today is we're just putting little tiny rocks because rocks make an impact in our world. Um, earthy and solid. Without the rocks, the building would look not as organic, 
not as lumpy and it would give us a different, completely different feel without the little tiny rocks. So I was told a while back, and maybe you can tell me if it's true, that when you pull a handcart, you're supposed to actually pull it and not push it. So that if the load falls, you won't get hurt. You pull it. Is that true or was I being punked? My favorite Bob Ross memory, whenever I think of Bob Ross, Jenna Marbles, she did like a tutorial. And you know how fast he moves? And I just remember going, Bob, Bob, slow down, Bob. Okay, Bob, hold on. Oh, there's one crimson. Hold Much on, more crimson I, the, blue. the mountain's still loud. Hold on, Bob. Black. I can't keep up. Bob, hang on, Bob. Bob, Bob. <laughs> Slow down, Bob. Slow down, Bob. <laughs> That's, That's great. I always pick these really flat rocks, and they just they work out so well. I mean, just look at that. Yeah. Look how nice that is. One, one smooth wall. going to be cutting all the posts to their proper height because we want their elevations to all be exactly matching those of the earth and the mountains behind them. Mid until it got dark so we could use our laser level so we could determine the height of all these posts. We are a little off. That's okay, we'll raise that up. The laser is so cool, it keeps it all up. Are we ready to mark them? Yes. So last night we did a laser, we leveled everything. So now everything is at the same height. So now we just gotta go and cut them off. Hey, you wanna film this? Sure. It's a triangle. Wait, that's not right. <laughs> that's a rectangle, but good try. This ladder is interesting. Got it. There we go. That's the last one. Yes. I was watching Bob Ross today to get in the mode. Yeah? And asking if that rock is placed right. Mom? Yeah? Is this rock placed right? It is placed perfectly because that's where we put it. Yeah, that's art. Wherever you think they should be, then that's exactly where they should be. You really captured his spirit, Mom. Good job. We are going to announce right now that if you can per get perspective of where we're at, which is hard to do, this part and that part right there is the last of the earth bag, right, Bree? That's right. Okay, so all that we're going to have left, this here. Boom. There's some rock done here. What kind of Bob Rossy thing is this? Yes. So I heard it was bring your Bob Ross to work day. This is my Bob Ross painting. And actually, for my bachelorette party, Shay had us do Bob follow a Bob Ross tutorial. And um, I remember it very well. We all painted the same scene and this was mine. I, I put two little uh, birds flying on the side like it was me and Jared. I like that there's happy little trees. Oh yes, we had to get the happy little trees in there. That was just gonna be a thing. But yes. But yeah, there you go. My Bob Ross painting. Wow, that's cool. I know, right? Now, when we step out of the house and we walk over to the building, this is what we see. Which, for some reason, is a lot more enjoyable with the rocks on the bottom. <laughs> Right. You may notice I don't have the smart end again. Oh. 
I think I've been demoted. I think you're the measuree, not the measurer. <laughs> 80 to 4. 80 to 4! Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> tell, you, tell you when we get to the other side. Okay. Got it! Let's go at 92. Ready! Let's see if we can see him. Make sure you get the right side. Got it! Yeah! Yeah, 92! Yes! Perfect! We are perfectly square in all directions. Rafters will soon be going up across the center of the building, giving us perfect symmetry all the way through across. So we need to prepare the rafters to go up. Prep work here, this is solid steel. It needs to be rust free, so we gotta go ahead and, and rust it. And you know, de-rust it, you know, get all the rust away and make it look really beautiful. It's our world, we get to decide what we want and I don't think I like this rust, so we're gonna get rid of it. And now, I've retired paint brushes. I've decided that it's too old of a technique and we're moving on to spray cans to make our job way easier. The color we picked for this is a gorgeous, gorgeous jet black. Very simple. And it does just real fast strokes, just like this, real fast. Take the brush and very quickly drop it in. Now we get to sit back and admire our work here. Very nice looking. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. I think we'll call it finished. And from all of us here, happy painting and God bless. This whole episode, my left side of my mustache has been in denial. So only filming from the good side. So we have merch in the shop and there's a sale. We have 23% off everything now through the 10th. So go take advantage of that. It's in the shop, link in description for the shop. We got awesome merch like this one here, the pocket gopher. I really like this one. It looks like a business shirt and it makes me feel really professional. Hello, and welcome to the giveaway of these two puzzles. I'm gonna have the email that you need to email to win these puzzles show up at the bottom of the screen. While that is showing up there, I'm gonna explain how you win these puzzles. The 20th and the 23rd person to email me their name and their address will win these puzzles. The 20th and the 23rd person to email me at brie at mylittlehomestead.com and be sure to include your name and your address. And that's brie, B-R-E-E -E, at mylittlehomestead.com. If you do B-R-I, B-R-I-E, I don't get those. I only get B-R-E-E -E because that's my name. Thank you so much for participating in the giveaway and good luck. We also wanted to let you know that there has been a Telegram scam that's been going around on our YouTube, and I'm not sure if there's other platforms that it has leaked to, uh, but we do not ask to get a hold of you through Telegram. Be safe, don't click on links, unless they're in our description. Those are the official ones. Thank you so much for being a part of the My Little Homestead family, and also, we don't talk about Bruno, no, 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 no. We don't talk about Bruno. trying to do this the other day and I, I couldn't get this to hook up because oh <laughs> oops see I was not lying about the sun you just look right right at it it's beautiful very very bright oh. you smell that dust do yeah. not sniff that in <laughs> family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure.
have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. See that stick? We put that stick there because Bullet was sticking it on our seats and we were almost sitting on it. And as you can imagine, that wouldn't make the greatest cushion. So we thought, ah, we fixed the Bullet issue of that happening. But no, no, no. Let's go see what Bullet has now, shall we? We're gonna find out who our friends are. <laughs> He turned into George of the Jungle. <laughs> I am like, uh, just washed my hair. I'm having a hard time dealing with it, but I think it looks great. These rafters are very reminiscent of beautiful trees. We're gonna call them tree rafters. See him living here amongst the hills. One tree, it's called the Lone Tree. I'm Gary Ross, signing off for today. There's a reason why I don't have my Bob Ross hair on. I'm afraid it will catch fire. The Normal hair. hair won't catch fire, obviously. Right. So. How you doing there, wet dog? Still looking for your toy to be tossed? The stick, huh? All right, here we go.